Hey guys, Dangle Nerd here. Um, I'm just nerding out about Flex Seal. <laughs> As you can see, I got some Flex Seal swag. Um, I just wanted to, you know, post the videos um, just to show my appreciation. I've never had a company, you know, reach out to me and <clears throat> just send me stuff. Um, uh, it was in response to a video I posted about my Hornady tripoint light box. And I put flex seal on the bottom of it uh, to keep it from sliding around my, uh, on my in my car under my seat. And also when I put it on top of my passenger seat, putting my weapon in there, and it it keeps it from sliding around. So it's uh doesn't look great. I know it's you know I made some mistakes in the application of it, but um, I think there's some lessons to be learned. Um, if I had to do it again, or if you guys, you know, are interested in ever using Flex Seal for something like this, um, what I would do is, I originally I put uh, the blue tape, the painter's tape over the top of it to protect it from getting coated. I just wanted to coat the bottom. Um, but as it was running over and then I was peeling the the blue tape off, I noticed that the flex tape actually adheres better to the tape. And, you know, it's got some texture. And then it made it really easy to, to take it off. So I think it'd be better if I would have just taped the whole box with the painter's tape and then poured the flex, flex seal over it. Because then, I don't know, I think it's, it, it helps the flex seal adhere better and also if you make a mistake or if you want to you know take it off you can just peel it right off quite easily um besides that the thing i would do is have a secure location where you can just set it pour the flex seal and just leave it for two or three days my mistake was i had to move it from outside to inside and before it had completely, completely cured. And so it kind of moved it around and the surface got all messed up. So then I tried to peel it off and that was a complete mess. And then that's why it looks like, it looks like this, but it works. Um, I do have to practice with it. Um, it takes, you know, just using the Hornady lockbox, it, it takes some, I think practice. So. Here, um, I'm at my dentist office, uh, and I need to put my weapon in the box. So um, I have the little key on the on my key ring of the car. That takes some getting used to, kind of manipulating that. <clears throat> and then I've been messing around with uh, Dr. Scholl's uh, heel wedge hack um i i tried it months ago but i, I really didn't like it and then because it kind of the gel part actually sticks to your clothing um but um on a suggestion from one of my uh viewers jer dog three he suggested kind of reversing the second wedge so that the uh the outside the cloth side is facing out and so i tried that and um first of all it doesn't work in the in the tripoint lock box and after wearing it all day i noticed that it kind of creates a hot spot with the heel wedges so i'll probably just give up on that heel wedge um and yeah so here you can see i'm having some trouble with the key finally get it in and that was good. I went to my dentist appointment and had no issues. But um, today I wanted to do one more thing with the Flex Seal. So as you know, I've been working on this holster wedge, the air wedge. And um, it's got a pinhole leak still somewhere, you know, like I pump it up and it, it's good for a while. But then I noticed the air would escape and I would have to keep on pumping it up.
So I thought, you know, I've been trying to just fix it with the Gorilla Glue right here, but obviously it's not working. So I thought, why not just dip it in some Flex Seal? So that's what I'm gonna try to do. So here's my can of Flex Seal. Um, this is the lip balm that they sent me. Um, when I first saw this, I thought, you know, this was like a small individual size of Flex Seal or something. And I thought that would be, you know, genius. So you don't have to have this, you know, big can. And then whatever you don't use, it generally it starts to harden on the surface. So you have to kind of remove that layer. But Flex Seal, if you're watching, why don't you guys make kind of smaller individual like tubes? You know, like the um, Gorilla Glue. I have some gl Gorilla Glue somewhere, but I I started, I bought the big tube of it, but I didn't use all of it. And then by the time I got to it, it was all hardened. And so I had to waste it. But now they sell those little, little tubes. So why don't you do that for Flex Seal? Put them in little tubes to kind of like, you know, you can adjust, you know, if you need more than that one tube, then you can use open another tube, you know, just have smaller sizes that you can do small, uh, you know, small tasks. But anyways, um, got to open up the can here. See if this thing works. I think I need a screwdriver. Nope. Here I use uh, some wooden chopsticks. These are very useful. Um, whenever you go to an Asian restaurant, just grab a handful of those. And I just use it to mix up the Flex Seal. And then I'm going to <clears throat> put it in this little trough that I made, um, just out of cardboard. And thinking I can fill the trough up with Flex Seal. And then I will dip the edge of the, the air wedge into it. So here it's filled up and then now the air wedge goes in there. And then Try to set it upright so it can cure and fill in some extra Flex Seal to make sure it's completely covered. Now it's been a couple hours later, um, checking on the, the wedge. It's a little bit goopy in some, some spots, um, but it looks like the coverage is pretty good. And then I will just kind of scrape off or smooth out some of the, the globs. <laughs> and uh, just kind of let it set. All right, so um, it's the next day. It's probably been about, I don't know, about 18 hours. And it seems pretty much uh, cured or dry. And the good thing about this is it's, you know, with the rubber, it's more flexible. I think that was a, the problem with the uh, Gorilla Glue is, you know, once it dries, it becomes stiff. And I think, you know, maybe it starts to crack or something, but, um, yeah, we'll see if there's any leaks. But, okay, let's 
see how she works. So far, looking pretty good. Well, I'm not seeing any bubbles. Yeah, so, um, it seems like it worked. It, I didn't see any bubbles coming up. And it seems, I think the rubber was the, Flex Seal was the perfect remedy for the air leak. So, put this thing back on. Yeah, I, I still like the air wedge. Um, it works and it, it's, it's really comfortable, you know, the cushion of air. And it's, I think it's wide enough that it disperses uh, all the pressure. So, there you go. Uh, I guess Flex Seal was, was the perfect uh, solution for that. Um, as far as their <laughs> their swag here, you know, it's like I appreciate it, but who's gonna wear this? You know, come on, Flexio, who does your designs? I don't know. Anyways, um, that's it for now. Uh, please like, comment below, and um, thanks for watching.